In the year of 2015, I asked my good friend Vivian to help me pick up a Bose QC25, which was the most comfortable and quiet headphones out there. Wearing them felt like a dream. I loved how I could swap out the battery and then plug into pretty much anything. My phone, laptop, you name it. But here's the twist. After like one year, I found the left ear had no sound. I thought it was just mine. But turns out I did a quick online search. It's a widespread problem. But because Vivian helped me to buy this headphone, I have no box or the warranty. So I have to bench them for a couple of years. Fast forward to today, Bose has released the Bose QC45, a wireless a Bluetooth headphone, which is uh, still remains the comfort. Well, I haven't tried them yet, but I have this QC35, a secondhand pair from another friend of mine. It's still usable. I changed this. It's still pretty cool. The noise canceling, I love this headphone. Speaking of QC35, let's talk about the pros and cons of this headphone. I particularly enjoy their ease of uh, use because uh, I was accustomed to QC25. 35 for me, it's easy. Bluetooth feature is a game changer. No wear needed. This means I can wear them while doing household chores like washing dishes, clean the floor, exercising, but not for some intense sports. They're perfect for various settings, whether it's a coffee shop, on the subway, or in a car. Summary for this QC35. Comfortable, easy to use, Bluetooth connection, good. Before you buy this one, let's talk about the cons of this uh, QC35. I don't like their size. It's too big for me. Their size is a drawback, especially when I prefer not to carry in a bag. They take up too much space in a bag, a problem even for short trips. The connection can be erratic, occasionally connecting my MacBook Pro unexpectedly, and the micro USB charging is inconvenient. Now that I've switched over to USB-C for pretty much everything, even my iPhone. It's super annoying to still have to hang onto an old cable for just a few gadgets. Bose has since released QC Ultra and QC2. My wife uses QC2 for her runs and she loves them. Recently, she offered to gift me new earbuds like Bose QC2, like hers, Bose Ultra or AirPods Pro 2, acknowledging the inconvenience I faced with the QC35's bulkiness. I initially declined as the QC35 was still functional and I didn't often carry them outside. However, this changed during a recent trip to my hometown, packing the QC35 in my backpack, leaving little room for other essentials. It made me reconsider. Perhaps it was time for a change. Now, I think it's time. Actually, I have this AirPods Pro 2 USB-C charging pot. We're going to unbox this one and let's check what's inside. AirPods Pro second generation with MagSafe charging case. MagSafe charging case. Are you ready? No sticker. And yeah, let's put it here. USB C again. Wow. It's so tiny. Let's compare with my Bose QC35. Wow, it's so big. And it's so tiny, so small. See, this is technology, guys. 
advanced technology. I know what to do. When I go outside, I carry this inside. Maybe I can use this one. They're still working.